Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On the series Strategy Game, and we're returning to our Let's Play series of War on the East by Gary Grigsby. Uh, our German tanks have just pushed up uh, through the Soviet lines uh, over here. We've um, presented them with a little double envelopment down here. So our three tank forces uh, have pushed up in the north, the green one, uh, in the middle, the pink ones, and from the south, the cyan ones. Now, these units are spread a little thin, and as we are now about to hand it over towards the Soviets and their turn, um, I'm very intrigued to see what they're going to make out of that. Um, also, our line has been pushing up. I, I mean, it's it's very it's a very, very thin line, so let's see uh, what we're going to get out from over there. Uh, other than that, in between episodes, I did move up a couple of units. Um, nothing too major, just reassigned one of these units down here. Uh, that was in one of the security battalions. Uh, that is now part of the 6th Corps, which in turn uh, is part of the 3rd Panzer Group. So basically an army level unit. Um, and that has been moved towards down here. It's not the strongest unit. Uh, it's the 339 Infantry. Um, it's lacking in many ways, but um, still it's boots on the ground, so that's good. Uh, I decided to move it here so that these tanks here uh, would maybe spend a little bit more uh, action points to disengage, formally disengage. Uh, from our unit so if they want to get through over here uh, they'll have a little bit less movement points and hopefully hopefully um, that is going to uh, stop them a little bit from from advancing into our way so that being said uh, i think it's time to hand it over towards the soviets and see what they are going to do in their turn so firstly we'll start to uh, calculate all of the logistics so basically all of the things that uh, they have where they are replacing some of their units here we hand it over towards uh, our zone of control now these units down here are trapped so and soon it will say logistics finished and then it will hand over towards their combat phase so we'll have to see about that there end of logistics now it's their combat phase i'm not sure whether they'll do a lot um, but we'll have to see so there are the first uh, recon missions they are moving up they are disabandoning their positions over here i think they might attack over here into into this region um, but we we'll have to see we're not really interdicting them with our air force which is i which, which is what i had hoped that we would be able to do interdicted so there we go we can just pause over here for a second so uh, just one fighter and six of our bombers uh, mostly very light bombers actually uh, are interdicting them we're not doing much damage uh, but it's still good because i think it uh, uses up movement points we're not losing anything anyway so uh, I think that's fine. More interdictions, just a single bomber here. Uh, nothing to write home about, um, but it's reducing their effectiveness, so uh, I very much appreciate the effort from our Air Force down here. Right, so they have cut, off, cut, cut us off uh, with this cavalry unit, uh, but I think that's going to be alright. We don't need to be too concerned about that. Uh, these guys were here anyway just to sort of hopefully break through. Oh, okay, that's, that's funny. It's a German communist, I think, so it's funny that they named a town after that. I didn't know that. Right, so the AI, I'm not sure they are doing anything over here in terms of attacking us. Oh. And let's pause here for a second. So, yeah, here they are attacking us. They are attacking our cavalry division, uh, or part of a cavalry division, uh, close to Kursk. We are defending with 3,600 men, they are attacking with 15,000. Uh, they definitely do beat the 2 to 1 odds, uh, and we are now retreating uh, with a loss of only 23 men, though, <laughs> while they are losing 1,000 men. So, yeah, I think I think that is uh, that still sort of counts as a win uh, in my book. And again, these guys are not that aggressively. Let's pause here for a second. Can we pause? Uh, another retreat. We are suffering a little bit more than 100, 100 units this time, 100 guys. Uh, and it might be isolated now. So if they do attack again, it will probably shatter. Uh, and I think that is what's happening here. So we might be losing 3,000 men. Uh, that's not good. Obviously, yeah, we are shattered. No, we are retreating. Uh, so that is at the very least nice. Uh, I thought we'd be isolated. Okay. Ooh, another attack up over here. Pause, 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 pause. Right, so what's happening over here? Uh, let's disentangle what's going on. So we have pushed up over here. This is this is our line of attack. Uh, we are defending with 10,000 men from the 19th Panzer Division, uh, which are supported by some, some Werfer battalions, so that is rocket artillery. Um, five bombers, really not that much. 
and these guys are that's the green line so our units from over here are supporting just a few ones um, on the other hand these guys are uh, supporting or flying attacks over here as well uh, with a couple of air units again not that much in terms of air uh, but they are putting up 50,000 men uh, on the ground with 700 artillery pieces 70 tanks we have a couple of more tanks um, very few artillery pieces though we are losing about a hundred men some of them completely lost some damaged um, seven tanks or so but I think we are holding out so uh, that is good at the very least that's the first um, first attack over here can I resume please defend all the fort level but the defending forces held so that's good and, and we did cause 3,000 uh, units lost for them over there so that is very nice definitely and uh, they might do another follow-up attack though um, and we'd probably not be able to hold out against that one although 3,000 elements lost for them is also fairly significant but no they do hand it over towards us so that is very very good indeed so let's see what's going on over here whether all of our pockets did uh, were, were substantiated over here which would of course be very nice rail repair there we go and we can look at the rail situation soon because again we do need to repair or rebuild a lot of these rail tracks as we do advance uh, because the Russians do have a different rail gauge right here's the overview so what has happened uh, we have lost 16,000 men 15,000 of those uh, disabled so that's not that bad so it's lost 30,000 a lot of them killed 18,000 men killed a lot of them might be due to attrition uh, we've lost a number of things um, 40 tanks they've lost 40 tanks but ours do hurt more I believe uh, because we are probably losing yeah Panzer threes over here uh, whereas they are mostly losing like T60s T26s so that's not great but the most important thing is our pocket seems to have held up over here and that is very good because if we go over here no no no, no sorry uh, this one so we should see that all of their units here are highlighted uh, which means they are uh, out of supply and are considered isolated and that's good because if we are beating them now uh, they'll probably shatter rather than retreat um, retreating is good but shattering is obviously much much better uh, so yeah if we can kill these guys that would be really great we also have a couple of admin points so we'll be uh, looking forward to spend those um, other than that yeah all of these guys down here uh, we don't know that much about their supply situation or anything uh, so we'll have to deal with that no advance from the Russians up here that's good um, this line basically is holding this line here is holding I think these guys here were the ones uh, that were being attacked was it the 19th uh, division yeah it might be you are down to 58 percent of uh, your act of, of your target so you only have you are supposed to have 10 armored cars you have six and um, this is pretty bad what's your most important yeah motor infantry squad you are very very low on most of these elements yeah you took the brunt of the attack there um, but I appreciate that because you did manage to hold out uh, and that was great so um, according to the scenario description we only have um, we only have this turn left basically to do an encirclement and after that it will probably be mud so we'll have to push up extremely aggressively over here um, and see what we can still encircle uh, or sort of where we can advance in this turn with our tanks, I would of course like to drive on Moscow. Um, the issue is I don't think we'll be really able to do that at all. Uh, on the other hand, I think in terms of victory points, also Rishev, yeah Rishev does count quite a bit actually, 400 points, um, as does Torchk, I think. Does Torchk count? And I'm mispronouncing these names tremendously, but no. No, not quite, but Rishev would be nice. I mean, it would allow us to potentially encircle more units down here. Can we break through over here? These guys are fairly weak. These are just fortification units, so basically conscripted labor. And you can see the second number here is always a defensive value. So there's a fairly good defensive unit here, fairly good one there. Could certainly push up over here, but would it do us any good? I'm not sure uh, whether we can really 
hope to advance anyway. And Moscow itself, I just don't think it's certainly not within reach this turn. These guys are just too well defended uh, down there. But if we do get into a position so that maybe we can do something next turn, that would also be uh, not too bad either. Down here we could potentially encircle a couple of these guys, but that's just minor, uh, minor, minor effect really. And um, this cavalry here got beaten pretty, beaten up pretty badly, so it's down to 61% of its, um, of the units it's supposed to be. This one is slightly isolated, but that's fine. We'll probably kick these guys uh, back anyway. And Kursk would be a nice target to capture this turn as well. But so most importantly, what can we really hope to accomplish? Um, even with our guys down here. So suppose this tank over here, it's fairly low on fuel already. Um, so it probably cannot advance really far. Let's have a look at our rail situation here. So our rail head is over here and this is sort of the area that we can reasonably supply the uh, light one. The shaded one is pretty bad. You can probably see a couple of our construction units are starting their work uh, on some of these lines here. So you can see one over there. Potentially further ones? No, for now it's only this unit. Um, but we do have two explicit units that are under our command. One of them is here, I think, yeah. Um, so that will be able to come up a little bit close towards here. Uh, but it's a very gradual thing. So, other than that, well, we could punch up over here. If we don't get to Tula, we might at least be able to get to sort of Belev, this area. And circle these units. Mostly security for spot a good number of tanks. So, that would be great. Motorized division down here. Pushing up against a couple of these headquarters and air units would of course be nice because it would lose them. It would mean they are losing attrition. Um, on the other hand, advancing up here and potentially down or, or sort of this way, I would encircle a lot of units here and that is something that we might be able to pull off at least with the green units and down here. The green units are part of the army group center. I think somewhat weirdly the purple ones do belong to army group north uh, even though they are stationed further in the south. So wait a minute it's you so fourth panzer group. Fourth panzer group is army group north yeah so yeah still it doesn't really make sense to mix them up that badly. Um, the purple ones I think they'll not be able to break through anywhere they are sort of wedged in between these two army groups um, so they will probably have a very hard time breaking out of the zone of controls of these guys. So it's pretty much down to to the bluish ones here. Um, and they are not really in a target-rich environment. And they are very low on fuel, especially down here. So we... Oh, this is this is interesting. They did, they did attack into here, I think. So and that they took this area. But they'll be gone. Uh, we'll probably just mob them up. And that's going to be fine. Yeah, so some of these purple ones will probably deal with the with the environment down here in Kursk, uh, but I think the main push by by the bluish ones should be up in this area, and then the purple ones can maybe maybe come here. Uh, but I don't want to get too greedy. Is the thing Kaluga would be real nice to take. So that we could advance later on over there. Uh, but let's start with the mopping up down here, uh, I think. So let's start out with you and see whether a single guy attacking across the river here is going to be sufficient. I kind of doubt it, but let's see. 16,000 again, 15,000 a year. So they are, they are holding out. Um, oh, before I do anything else, I should actually do recon and let the AI fly its recon missions. Uh, simply so that we have some more view about what's going on. I'm gonna exit all these here. Just, uh, I just want to make sure that we have some vision on these guys. Uh, and, well, more, partly for us and partly uh, for our attacks because they will be able to succeed better if we know, if we have scouted uh, the units that we are about to attack more properly. Good. Okay, so. That wasn't enough with a single guy over here. Um, so what we might want to do then is take oh, take you and you and 
do a conventional attack here. It would look, cost us a lot of movement points, is the thing. Okay, so you know what? Let's start over here. 14,000 against 76,000. But they are surrendering now, so we have captured 70,000 men now, uh, which is fairly good for us. And I think if we attack over here, we might be able to do better because that's not across a river. No, in fact not. It's still 1.4 against them. They have lost a couple of fighters and bombers, that's okay. Um, but not enough, really. Mm. So even this is, is uh, proving to be quite difficult. Can we advance over here? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's get over here. Let's attack into there. 14,000 men against 11,000, but they are out of supplies and they are surrendering. So that is nice. Um, and you can advance further. Which, again, is probably fantastic. You couldn't take any of these targets. This is three rival divisions. I kind of, I kind of don't think you'll be able to do that. But just in case, let's try. That's 15,000 against 16,000 men. But they are surrendering, so that's nice. Uh, also because we probably do get a couple of their artillery pieces. And, and, and so on. Okay, let's attack here. That's another win force, another 5,000 men uh, surrendering. Good. Very good, in fact. So, how about you getting over here? 8-8 eight, eight here. Let's get over here and let's mop up this guy. That's, that's a ratio that I do like. <laughs> 33,000. So, that's okay. You could get over here. Um, and I think that might be the best idea that we have. Uh, although bringing you further down towards the south wouldn't be that bad either. Uh, on the other hand, you guys here, you could get over here, but you could probably not attack. Okay, let's get you over here. Oh, you're, you're fairly well defended. You couldn't get here, you could get here, but that would be pointless because you couldn't attack then. Um, how about you? Okay, let's bring you up over here. That's 15 against 4. I think that's fine. Let's try. 28,000 men against 18,000. And we're just sort of able to beat them, so they are all surrendering. That's another 18,000 men, basically, that we have captured now. That's nice. Um, you couldn't attack if you go there. Can we get anyone to attack this tank division and just mob it up? Probably not any infantry division. You could get here. Yeah, but again, none of that would allow you to attack anymore. I think we need more than a single waypoint. Well, you could do that. And that would free up the tanks, so I'm tempted to do that, actually. How about you? You've got 11 movement. Okay, yeah, I think that should work. 15,000 men against... Six, that's fine. Also, a couple of vehicles there. 150 vehicles, that's fairly nice. Good, so that does leave the situation down here. How do we want to deal with this then? I think you really have to attack. It's across a river is the problem. Likewise, we could attack with you, but... Okay, let's try another hasty attack over here. 15,000. Just not able to hold them, to, to kick them out, really. So do we want to do a proper attack then? I think so. I think we'll just have to be this way. Ah, oh, you can't. No. Damn it, only one of it you did. Damn it! So close to two. Okay, last attack here. These guys are really holding up fairly well. There we go, though. Now they have been beaten. Did cost us all of the movements point, movement points of the, these guys, though, so uh, that's that's not great. On the other hand, I think we'll be getting all of these fields up there for free. I think our infantry division up here can come up behind this tank. Yeah, that's very nice. Also connecting this uh, cavalry division, or cavalry unit up there. And you could advance further, but you probably need to rest up a little bit. And uh, these guys are more or less fine. Can come up behind you, so that's great. But we'll have to look at that in more detail. Um, and you can also advance. So yeah, we've dealt with this a little bit up uh, down there. And um, up over here it's going to be more complicated, I believe. Um, so 
Okay, probably you are very weak, so you want to come in here first. For this guy. Yeah, very nice. And then you can advance, but you'll definitely not be able to, to take these guys out. Um, although you will be able to attack, so I think we'll bring you up. Um, but then you'll need a little bit of backup as well. Okay, you do belong to this group. So yeah, let's do bring you up this way. 13 against 5. I think that's still a little bit weak. So let's bring in the third unit as well. That's 21 against 5. Probably overkill. 40,000 men. Yeah. Still not that much actually. And there we are. Oh, one of them retreated? That's interesting. So one of them retreated into into this field down there. Uh, so you probably can't move on. How about you? If you go here, you can probably still attack. Same is true for here though. Yeah, but I think the issue is up here. Let's bring you up there as well. And we probably want to attack down there. 30,000 men. Yeah, still, we are just able to beat them. And well, they are mostly retreating, incidentally. Interesting. Okay, um, still you have eight, so you'll probably be able to shatter these guys. Surrender. Very nice. Good stuff. You can move on, but I think you'll not be able to attack. Will you? Oh yeah, you will. Okay, that's that's okay then. Uh, great. You, sir, would not be able to attack. You can attack here though. So let's at least advance. All of the other blue units basically are done though. Can we bring you into contact? Well, with the headquarter. Okay, we can bring you up over here and, and, and join up in an attack on these guys. Now we are in the minority, uh, or, but we are still able to push them back, so that is nice. Um, and that means we can probably bring you here. And do we need two? Yeah, let's bring in two guys, and I think that should shatter them. Yeah, ten to one basically, but still, sort of similar numbers. So and some of them are still retreating. So, uh, so either there or there. I think probably along the rail line is just fine. Let's try to attack here. Yeah, very good. That's thirty thousand men surrendering. Mm. I think you will still be able to attack here. So that is another 20,000. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage over here. And this is this is sort of typical for, for the first turn as the Germans. Um, but Or the first couple of turns as the Germans. But the unfortunate thing is it's not going to hold out. So, ooh. Actually, this time they are superior to us over here, actually. And do we have enough force to attack again? Yeah, we would have. Do we want to do that though? Um, we could bring up the core unit for these guys uh, at the very least. So let's bring them up. Do you have another unit down here? You belong to this core. Okay, let's bring you into here and attack again. I think this time they'll probably break. Yeah. Six to one, in fact. So a lot of them surrendering. 33,000 men again. Um, you cannot attack, but the other two should be able to. Again, overwhelm them. Some of them seem to seem to have withdrawn though. So yeah, you are all pretty much done with your movements. And um, you likewise. Do we have anyone over here? Just the headquarter. That's not going to do much for us. This blue unit then. Probably get this guy done. Yeah, hard the picture as well. 12,000 men, so it's really, really nasty just how much damage we are doing here. Um, you can come up here, and that's good. Do we have anyone else, though? Only the pink infantry. So seven against three, I think that's not going to be enough. Yeah, you can still attack, probably into here, is, is what I'm thinking. So, could bring one of these divisions up. It's not really where I want them to be. I'd rather take them to the this piece up here. So 
Let's uh, wait a second there before we move these guys out of position. Everyone else down here is fine though. You actually are kind of funny guy. The blue units do need to move up to... The light blue ones do need to move up towards position as well. Um, if you were to move over here, no, you'd, you absolutely have no movement points. In fact, no one seems to have any movement points. So maybe the tanks do need to start attacking. Okay, let's try this attack. Okay, maybe before we do that, let's do another recon mission over here. Didn't lose anything. I think they are better scouted out now. Well, at least partially, okay. Right, let's take this guy. Come on, movement. Let's take this guy and attack into here. Yeah, absolutely horrible idea. But not too many losses, so uh, not complaining. Right, and there are still quite a lot of units trapped in this little pocket down here. The one in the south has been completely cleared out, so that is fairly nice. Can we bring in anyone closer? It would be great. It would be great, but I think we cannot. Um, you could potentially attack these tanks. It would be across a river. Mm, but at least it would allow you here to disengage. So let's do that. Yeah, not, not quite successful though. Maybe another try? No, in fact they are... They are holding out better this time. So yeah, that was uh, not successful. Okay, fine. I think that's that's going to be okay with the blue units then. And um, you really have done your job fairly well actually. So let's bring you up. Um, you can, can you go anywhere here? No. Okay, you cannot cross that river either. So yeah, you you did you did well, I think. Would be nice to, to have captured that. Uh, let's look at the losses briefly here and just see how much the Soviets are losing. So the Soviets have lost just this turn, just by the actions that we've just in, just by clearing these pockets. They have lost 240,000 men there. Um, most of them captured, about 200,000 captured, which is just great because it also means that we have captured a couple of vehicles, 810 vehicles. Um, that's very good. That's We'll be able to use some of that equipment. Uh, we'll be able to s recruit some of these people for our labor force. Uh, and of course, they're gone from the Soviet side, so that is nice. Uh, on the other hand, on the order of battle, you can probably see, yeah, they have lost. They are outnumbered now, uh, but the weather is on their side, definitely. So that is something we do uh, need to need to take into account. So I'm tempted to to not bob these guys and try to just establish the line. The purple lines, the purple units will probably not be able to move out there. Um, with the green units, I mean we could stream into this direction, and it wouldn't be bad because we would be in a position to attack maybe after the mud dries up. Uh, on the other hand, just encircling these guys would also be. And they're attempting and if we do get up here we might I mean these guys are fairly weak they're all just a one so if we do concentrate on on pushing up over here and, and sort of hooking backwards um, maybe below Rizhnev I think we'd be we're pretty good at, at cutting them off that'd be nice because if they are out of supply in the mud and then we might even be able to, to push them in while they are out of position there down here with the sign units, all of these security units are not going to hold out much, but why? Where where would that attack be going? I'm, I'm kind of not sure what we'd be able to achieve over there if we do come through here. Well, with the purple ones, if we do kick in towards Kaluga and sort of do this, we'd be able to travel a couple of divisions here. I don't think we really have the fuel though. These guys have been operating way too far away uh, from our supplies, so uh, that's not quite great. Let's take a look here at the supply situation and, and ask these guys here to start repairing some of these rail tracks. And as we do come along over there, and 
don't want you, just want to select you. And it's typically that you can sort of only repair three tiles. And any more than that, you'd be very lucky to. Oh, but this time, it does seem to work. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so four tiles that we have repaired over here. Um, yeah, but then you can't move into the next one. Still, that's 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 fairly good. Um, it does mean that basically uh, we'll be able to supply the uh, points down here as well. So that's great. Four further to the east is always fairly good. And if we can bring the supply down here, uh, that'd be good too. So yeah, I think actually killing these units here might be a priority so that the rail line would be considered safe and we can bring it down here. Um, although... Again, maybe just bring it down here would also be saving us a little bit more rather than going to Aurel and then Kursk. I think that's the less risky way. Uh, we should also see our rail units up here, so you can spend some some stuff on this, and then come over here. We can over here, please. Ah, and then you'd be zoned of control by this guy, so. But we're not going to do that. We are going to wait for this guy to maybe be uh, driven away from there. That being said, uh, we have over the 30 minutes mark. So uh, I'm going to put in a cut here. And I am going to uh, have a look on some of these things as they do develop. Oh, basically, by the way, here you can see uh, some of the rail repair that is organic sort of to the game. Um, as, uh, as we are recruiting a couple of people. So that is nice to see. Also over there. Uh, but still, all in all, we do need to... Uh, uh, repair strategically where we do want to be so uh, that is something that we do need to consider look at that a hundred planes over here yeah lots of vehicles down here some over here I suppose oh, even more air unit should be fairly easy to push back these guys and, and drive towards Moscow but then again if we cannot capture Soviet equipment, um, I don't think, or at least encircle them in, in, in some fashion, I don't think that's worthwhile. 26 tanks, 8 heavy tanks, a thousand infantry units, and lots and lots of supply and, and construction. 900 construction or, or supply support units, that's amazing. 500, 600. It's a, it's a lot of stuff that is in here, so we really do want to want to get these guys down. But on the other hand, they are not going anywhere if we just can keep them boxed in. So we're gonna have to see about that. That being said, guys, uh, do leave a like and all of that, and I see you guys next time around. Bye bye.